Well, this morning we're going to meet Charles and Edith Nielsen. 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 And you are in quad? Uh, triple G. Triple G. Triple G 10. But you haven't been there too long, have you? No, only since the end of October. The end of October. And did you tell me you started off your travels with New York? That's right. We came from Long Island, New York. And that's where you had your children and lived for a while? Yes. Oh, yeah. We lived there all our lives, up oh. until we came down here. Okay. What did you retire from up there? I was a machinist in uh, uh, Republic Aviation. Oh, we made all the uh, aeroplanes, the fighter planes. Really? And you uh, seen the on the war. Now, you were there, you said, all your life. You raised your children there, he retired from there, and you decided that you were going to go to the beautiful land of sunshine. Well, not exactly. <laughs> How did in you... Fact, we decided to take a trip around the United States, and we ended up here in Florida to visit people we know, and four days later bought the trailer they had for sale. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and that was in Homestead. That's right. And how well did you like it, or what was the surroundings there? It was very nice. Uh, people were very nice, and uh, our location was nice. We had a recreation hall there. We had a lot of activities, a pool and everything, and uh, we liked it. We were there for about four and a half years before Andrew. Uh, <laughs> Hazel, let's take a look at kay. it. You'll see yes. how beautiful it was, and you can go ahead from there go ahead, yeah. and talk as you go through the, as we go through it. So this was your home in... It was the most beautiful Bougainville bush you ever wanted to see. Of course, we don't know where it is now. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, and this was your place in uh, Homestead, and you were there for how long? About four and a half years. Four and a half years. And then, I don't know what the next picture is, Well, George. we're going to see them. Uh, we'll and then came more. along the friendly little storm. Friendly is right. <laughs> Very, oh, that's us okay, in that's, front of it. That's you and the background of the, ha of the mobile. They have uh, Western uh, themed uh, parade and everything there once a year. And of course, we got all dressed up for it. Yeah, okay. He's all dressed up for the Western Parade. And then, how, tell us the beginnings of the storm or what? Well, actually, we were not down there during the storm. Our granddaughter lives here in Kissimmee, and she called us up Sunday morning and gave us strict orders we were not to stay down there Good. to come up here and stay with them. And uh, so we came up here Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon. Of course, Sunday night, Monday morning, the storm hit. That's the uh, front way it used to look. That's the way it used to look. Yes. Okay. And uh, we went back on Tuesday, and uh, we were very glad we were up here. That was the tree. We had all our plants hanging in. It was a pine tree, and we had all, all the different plants hanging in there. And uh, we only got one of them. <laughs> Mm. That's all. Now this uh, is a pair of, we have a pair of cockatiels and we did not take them with us. We put them in the bathroom in the center that was in the center of the mobile because we figured if the windows broke the glass wouldn't hurt them. Well when the windows everything else went oh. <laughs> and we thought sure we had lost them. Well when we got there uh, my granddaughter and her husband went with us, and all of a sudden he hollered to me, Nana, I hear them, and they were singing. Mm. They were knocked over. Singing through the storm, huh? So this was inside the trailer before. This was a beautiful closet that we had. We had redecorated the whole inside, and this was a beautiful cl uh, kitchen closet. That's our kitchen. Uh -huh. The all new kitchen cabinets and everything in there. And but now it's gone, huh? It's all gone. Hmm. We ended up with uh, nothing, only a coffee table. Nothing, only a coffee table and two little birds, huh? If you notice that <laughs> microwave, you're going to see that microwave in a minute again, I believe. I saw a picture of yeah. it. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. It wiped out the microwave, everything, the, the coffee machine, the, the mixer, well, everything seemed to win. There's, there's the microwave in the camera. Where is it at now? Well, that's... That's the first picture, Hazel, of the after now. Oh, I see. Yeah, smash, the, smash the glass in it and everything. Else. The winds must have been terrible. Now there, yeah. that That's is the after. Right mm. That is when we went down Tuesday. Uh, we, uh, that is what we found. And there was, you couldn't see hardly any, 
space grounds at all. All it was was debris all over, everything. We don't know where the, the roof went. That disappeared completely. Every one of the walls are down, and uh, it was really... Uh, well, it's hard to believe that you're looking at that. You don't even see any signs of that tree. No, the tree was not oh. down completely. Oh, it was looked like a, a post when we got finished. Oh, when is it that right? Hmm. This is what you see in the... There's about 400 trailers in that park, and this is what you see hmm. all over. Maybe oh. one or two you'll see with a, a roof off or the side off, but most of it is all flattened, just like an atomic bomb hit it and flattened everything. Must have been unexplainably terrible. Yes, it was. It was quite something when we got there, too, see, believe me. That was a beautiful uh, pine hut. It didn't come back with us. It, uh, all the, the dishes that were in the, in the top and everything, I mean, they're all gone. And, uh, then you just rented the lot, and the trailer is gone, the furniture is gone, everything. Yeah, yeah. And then how did you end up up here? Well, like I said, we came up here, and uh, of course, after we saw this, my granddaughter said, you're going to stay with us until, until you find something. And we looked around, and we looked at a lot of places, and truthfully, we kind of imagined that's more more of it and uh, that this was going to be too expensive or not just something that we wanted until uh, we came down and Barbara took us around and that was it. Oh really? <laughs> yes. Now you said she lives in Kasemi? Yes she does. She was in the Indian Ridge uh, okay. development. And uh, Isn't it amazing how the Lord leads your life from one place to another one step oh, at a time? It certainly is and, and we uh, a lot of people say well how did you get through it? Well, we just had that feeling that he had something else in mind for us, and I guess this was it, because uh, we are really totally happy here. It must tear you from the inside out, though. Everything you had is gone or broken or smashed. Or That's right. Well, two things mostly was we lost most of our gifts that we had gotten for our 50th anniversary. And uh, then when it time for Christmas, it felt very, very odd to have to go out and buy Christmas decorations yeah. because uh, we only even one little tiny box was all we brought back. It's all we could find. And uh, what you, we, had, I had, we had pieces of our manger scene that was over 60 years old. Oh, my. And, uh, and I don't think anybody's going to sit in that chair anymore. Hmm. Isn't that a shame? But, uh, what I think it is, is here you are, you're living a normal life, then all of a sudden, boom, in the twinkle of an eye, everything is gone. Your life has changed completely because all your friends and everything are, are gone all to the four winds and that, and you end up with, uh, if we didn't have our grandchildren and, and great-grandchildren, my daughter that lives up here, if we didn't have them to fall back on, we wouldn't have had anything We, because you uh, you don't have no place to go or mm -hmm. do anything. You know, that very thing, you can't seem to get into people's mind that they're happy, contented today, and they don't know what tomorrow is. That's right. You know, they're not ready for the Lord. They're not ready for their life to be made a sudden change, and they don't think it can happen to them. That's right. I'm, I'm pretty uh, sure that uh, he had us all pegged, he, this is where he wanted us to be, and that's the only way that he could get us up here. <laughs> <laughs> Blow you out. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, and I appreciate that the people helped us an awful lot. They sent us money or relations, and people that we didn't know, churches that my uh, brother worked, lives, uh, goes to. They took up collections and and uh, Disney, the people that my daughter works in Disney, they took up a collection. They sent us uh, boxes of, of mugs and, uh, mm -hmm. and glassware. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Absolutely marvelous. It, uh, you know, we're used to giving. Mm -hmm. It's just natural for us. But this is the first time we've ever been this much on the receiving end and... and 
it really makes you feel so grateful to then realize how many how much good people there are in, in well the you know the scripture says about and about things coming back to you but nothing comes back your ship never comes in if you haven't sent one out and the more you gave the more you gave your ship was out there ready to come in for you when it you needed came it in. it came in when we needed believe me okay okay george where do well, you want to go tell us you live in what quad triple g Triple G. Right on uh, the uh, Sunset Lake. Triple G. Oh, it's back to the water again. You're on lake oh, it's beautiful. You're on lakefront <laughs> property now. It's a beautiful spot. I always wanted to be on a lake somewhere. Now you got your Now I got my. <laughs> are you enjoying Good Samaritan? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Well, we are. Well, good. We go to the dances and we go to the uh, different dinners. And That's great. It keeps you busy all the time. Yeah. Well, we're very, very, very fortunate to have you, and we're glad uh, that you're here at the village, and we appreciate you coming and sharing with us on the Breakfast Club to see some before and after. There again, we can remember when this was going on. One thing more, I understand there are some other people here from Homestead. We haven't met them, and we really would enjoy meeting them if okay. they would get in touch with us. All right. We would like very much. Triple G10. Triple G10. 931. Two nine eight nine. Nine three one. Two nine. Nine three one. Okay, nine three one. Two nine eight nine. Okay. Two nine eight nine. Okay, but they live in Triple G. That shouldn't be hard to find. One.